and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFlow. TechFlow, a channel about technology. This is a car. Well, so you guys best be interested in this because all of you have asked for it. So I thought, why not talk about the technology of my car? Since everyone on my vlog has been like, Alex, what can this car do technology-wise? What well, place to do it than on my tech channel, TechFlow? I've got my car fairly dirty, trying to bring it down to this location to shoot this video. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. So we've all established that this is a car, it has four wheels and it gets you from A to B. We're not here to talk about that today, we're just here to plainly talk about technology. So this is the key that comes with the car and it can do some more things than just unlock the car and lock it. So let me give you a demonstration. If I hold down the unlock button right now, you're gonna see that the wing mirrors unfold and if I carry on holding the key down, it's gonna put the windows down and also, unlock the panoramic route. Now the same thing happens if you hold the lock button down, say if it starts raining, you've left your car outside, if you're inside you just hold the lock button down, keep holding it down, it's going to put the roof up closed and, 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 and close, close your windows for you. All from the key. Tech. Right, so that's pretty much it for the exterior of the car, other than the Xenon lights at the front with the daytime running LED. Let's get inside the car. So, in here, we've got, right, We've got keyless start. So, I've got the keys, you don't put them anywhere. Let's just, for sake, let's just put them on the passenger seat. Right, I can put my foot on the brake, start, start button, and the car starts up. No need to put the keys anywhere. You can keep them in your pocket if you want. So as you can probably see coming up there, this is the heads up display. Now, if you want to, you can turn this thing off by pushing this button here, and it will conveniently put it back in its little holder Pretty much what that thing does is it has a projection screen on it and it projects things like whoever you're calling, uh, your current miles an hour, uh, the current speed limit, uh, it also projects the navigation, the current songs that are playing, anything you really want it to. And its whole idea is to pretty much keep your eyes on the road. So let's talk about customization, LEDs, and with this, no one's, no one's car's the same, so pretty much we have a toggle up here, right? And if I flick this little toggle, you can see that we've got rings on the doors, and these are currently changing colour. So just started the car up, pretty much what I'm going to do here is take the gear stick and put it into reverse, and if we look at the heads-up display, we've actually got a rear reversing camera and parking indicators here which is absolutely awesome if I dry steer this car you can see on here that it actually tells you in the direction that the car is going to be going whilst you're reversing fairly cool let me just go and stand behind it for a second so you can see this working so here is the mini dashboard let's just go around it for a second so we've got mini connected Vehicle information, settings, navigation, radio, multimedia, telephonio, and office. So I've got my iPhone here connected via Bluetooth to the car. Very simple setup, takes about two minutes. And with that, you can do so much stuff. Okay, so first off, let's go over the first thing, Mini Connected. Now to get this to work, you don't just have to be connected to the car via Bluetooth, you also have to plug it into the car via a cable. Now once you've got your phone plugged into the car via a cable, whether it be an iOS or Android device, you can launch Mini Connected. As I say, it won't launch until you've got your phone connected. Then what it will do is start to load all of your apps found on the phone. So the easiest one to show you guys is Spotify. An app on my phone can also be used full display on the car. So let's launch into this. So it's just more visually appealing. Now this, this is really cool. So if you look at here, it says we're on Spotify by the Spotify logo indicated here. It says how far we are through the song. It says the artist, the actual album name and the song name. We've even got the album art of the song currently playing. Of course, we can turn it up here uh, and we've also got controls on the steering wheel and you can hear that Harmon Carden sound system. So now that the car has, in essence, a connection to Spotify via an LTE or 4G or 3G signal, you can navigate using the iDrive system down here to the search, and you've actually got a full 
Spotify search. So literally all you have to do on here is draw on here. So let's just type in here K S I. And as you can see, if we go over to the left, it's going to display us with all KSI songs. Let's just have a listen. So back down to this, this is the iDrive system. As you can see, you can actually draw numbers and letters on this board here, which is really, really, really cool and really intuitive. Let's go back to the menu for a second and let's check out vehicle information. So this is the vehicle information pane and all I'm pretty much going to show you down here is the onboard computer which gives you things like your fuel consumption, the time of arrival and the range you have left in your tank and the, the average speed you've been travelling. Uh, you can also look at the full uh, owner's handbook of the car on, on the display uh, with like interactive pictures and things if you don't know how to use certain things. You can also look at the vehicle status and if I start the car up you also get access to the driving excitement pack which gives you torque and power. So I'm in park at the moment, but if I put my foot down on the accelerator, you can see that we're letting down some power and torque there. Next on the list to check out is the settings pane. I know a lot of people are interested in this and all the things you can change actually on the car. So some of the main ones that stand out to me is the heads up display option. You can change the brightness, the height and the rotation of the heads up display if you'd like to. Um, as you guys know, you can put it away by using this button here and also uh, bring it back out using this button here if you don't want it or you want it. Uh, if we go down, keep going down here, we're going to find uh, lights, which is also a really cool one. So you can turn off and on the ambient lighting, which is the lighting on the doors, as we've already explained. You can change the full on brightness of these lights. You can change your home lights. This is pretty much when you lock the car as to how long, 60 seconds, uh, the lights on the exterior of the car will stay on. So you can, in, assess in essence, see your front door as you're trying to walk from the car to your front door and you can turn that on for a few minutes if you like so your lights will actually stay on after you've locked the car. You can also change things in the speed so I've got my warning limit set at 66 miles an hour pretty much if I go over or hit 66 miles an hour here the car's gonna do a little bling and it's gonna say Alex be careful with your speed mate you're hitting 66 miles an hour and I don't usually like to travel faster than that. Connections as you can see in here it's pretty much just Bluetooth if the car was on it would display my phone there pretty simple as you can change the date and time the language and What's this? Okay, so this is your central display here, and pretty much you can change the brightness of this display. I like it on full. Um, and what else is there? Let's have a look. Okay, this is interesting. I have changed a few settings in the doors and key. So I've set my car to when I click the unlock button, it's going to unlock all the doors, not just the driver's door. So that just makes things a lot easier. The collision warning is also a really, really good one. So let's click on this, and you can set your, uh, your, your warning point to early, medium, or late. And pretty much what the car's going to do is if you take your eyes off the road for any certain reason and you are about to rear end a car in front of you, it will actually warn you and put the brakes on and you can set, you know, how far away, early, medium or late that it will do that. I like it to do it on early so I know that I'm definitely not going to crash into any cars and ruin my two years no claims bonus. <laughs> navigation is pretty simple. If I just go across here, I'll just show you. Navigation is navigation. You put where you want to go and it tells you where you want to go. The map uh, is very, very nice. You can have different view modes, but look at that. Very, 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 very nice. We're not going to check out radio, let's jump straight to multimedia. So in here, as you can see, we have music collection, external devices, Spotify, and we can also change the sound profile of the car by changing things like bass travel, the balance, the fader, and all of that jazz. But what is music collection? That's what I was concerned about, or I was like, what is the music collection? Well, pretty much, the car has a 20 gigabyte internal storage, so you can plug in a memory stick into the USB socket, and import tracks, like just MP3 songs, onto the car. And then if I click on this, and then click on this, and then it's just displaying all of the music that I have stored on the car. So if I play a little bit of, oh, I don't know, let's have a little search here, a little bit of Drake, then that's literally, these songs are on the car. If we scroll down to external devices, it's going to show us all of the external devices. So as you can see, my uh, my phone is connected by USB. If the car was on, it would be connected via Bluetooth. You can stream it by Bluetooth. And you've also got an auxiliary in the front. Bluetooth audio as well does display the cover art of the song uh, and the song name and all that jazz. And you can skip the song. All of that works fine. Okay, so these buttons here are really cool. Now, one, two, three, four, five, and six. If I don't press them, just hover my finger over them, it's going to tell me what they are. So, number one is Spotify, number two is the sports instruments, number three is the Bluetooth player, number four is music collection, 
number five is the currently playing, and number six is actually to call my electric gates, but I'm not going to click that because it will show the phone number and you guys will troll me. So pretty much you can just customise these things and then when you click them, they go to exactly what you want them to go to. Number one goes to Spotify, if I'm coming back home and I want my gates to open, I click number six and it calls the gates. Simple as. Now the next thing to talk about is this ring. Possibly the last thing to talk about as well is this ring here. You can set this to whatever you want it to be. If I turn up the volume, it's gonna act as the volume going up or down. And also if I, for instance, rev the car, it's gonna act as a rev meter. As you can see here, we're getting into red revs, and that's where we currently are. Really, really, really cool. So that is the tech inside a maxed out Mini John Cooper works. I hope you found this interesting. Very overdue video, you guys really requested it. That is the technology that you can find inside a John Cooper works. As well as, obviously, all your climate controls. You've got dual cone, uh, dual, sorry, dual zone air conditioning here, so passenger can have it. 28 degrees and the driver can have it 16 degrees uh, whatever you'd like I like to keep them on 2020 uh, for OCD purposes and keep it on zero obviously uh, got the heated seats there as well absolutely wicked tech but that is it pretty much I drive system USB ports aux down there that's it mine has been Alex this has been Techflow we'll catch you in the next one